Welcome to Greater Good Radio Hawaii, where leaders inspire leaders. Greater Good Radio Hawaii is dedicated to social entrepreneurship. I'm your host, Evan Leong, and with me is my co-host, Carrie Leong. Thank you, Evan. Today's guest is Alan Doan, one of Hawaii's top-ranking corporate executives. Alan is chairman and CEO of Alexander and Baldwin, Inc., one of the oldest and largest corporations and the only surviving Big Five company in the state. His company has given more than $4 million to charities in Hawaii and the Pacific in the last two years. Alan is a director of First Hawaiian Bank and Pacific Guardian Life Insurance Company. He also serves on the board for a number of community organizations. Please welcome to Greater Good Radio, Alan Doan. Welcome to our show, Mr. Doan. Thank you very much. Thank you. So you're the chairman and CEO of Alexander and Baldwin. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit more about the company? Well, it's a company that, um, that people in Hawaii uh, know, uh, know a little bit about. It's one of the big five. In fact, uh, today it's really the only one of the uh, big five that's remaining. Uh, it was started in uh, 1870 as a 12-acre sugar plantation. In fact, last evening I was on uh, Maui and uh, we celebrated the 125th anniversary of our sugar plantation on Maui last night. So it's a company that has a long history. It's uh, one of Hawaii's largest companies and it's a company that uh, still has its, its heart and soul in Hawaii. You guys are pretty diversified though, right? From everything from shipping to <clears throat> real estate to what else? Uh, it's kind of, it's an interesting thing, but the company started in, in agriculture and then there was a need to get something from here to there. We live in Hawaii, right? So it's a long way. We ended up having a uh, interest in Matson and a shipping company. Uh, so then we now own Matson. And then after a long, long time, like uh, almost 100 years, we said, well, you know, let's think about doing something else with our land other than just agriculture. So we've gotten into the real estate business. So today uh, we... Uh, have a very large shipping company that uh, serves Hawaii, Western Pacific, as well as uh, China, which is a pretty exciting story Whoa. in the last year. And uh, we also have uh, one of Hawaii's uh, premier real estate organizations, too. What would your average day be like? An average day? <laughs> <laughs> or is there such a thing? Yeah, there's no average day. Um, you know, it's funny, but you, you think that you're uh, in command of yourself, and I guess to a limited extent you are. But, um, you know, a day, is, uh, a day can uh, involve um, being uh, out of Hawaii, which a lot of days are for me right now. So you could spend a day in, or a week in New York City. Uh, you could go to China, could visit Guam. Yesterday I was in Maui. Um, but uh, an average day at home uh, probably involves anywhere from uh, 25 to 30 different different sorts of activities. So when we say CEO of Alexander and Baldwin, you folks are so diversified. Mm -hmm. How do you keep track of what you're doing on a daily basis and how do you, I guess, get to know all of the different facets? You know, uh, the answer is, is you really don't. <laughs> you, what you do is you have really great people and, and they sort of, uh, you know, know a lot about the businesses. So one of the keys in, in this business, and in fact in any, any large business, is really uh, having a team of people. And uh, you do certain things, they do certain things, and hopefully you stay out of their way when they're doing the good things and uh, let them be successful. So while well, I have uh, involvement in all of our businesses in kind of a broad, broad sense, um, you know, the key is that, that uh, the best thing you can do as a leader is to choose other people who can really effectively lead their parts of the company. So what would your role be then as CEO of such a diversified company? I mean, your primary role. Yeah, there are a couple, uh, couple parts of the role. One is to uh, take the compass and set it in the right direction. So if you want to go north, northeast, uh, that's where the company should be going. Uh, that's really the responsibility of the CEO. There's a lot of, uh, of involvement by other people in it, particularly our board of directors, but uh, you got to get the compass in the right direction. And then, as I was uh, saying a minute ago, the uh, next thing you got to do is you got to make sure that the people that are in place are the people that uh, are, are uh, are going to go in that direction, or the people that can, can do those things that uh, you feel should be done. 
in the case of A and B, that's, uh, that's uh, definitely the case. And then uh, every once in a while, you have to make some big decisions. So the idea is, is that you shouldn't be making that many decisions. If you're making a huge number of decisions, you're probably not making the uh, big decisions the way you should make them. So uh, the idea is that, that you make a, a relatively few decisions, and then you have people who work with you for you who make a lot more decisions. Uh, when you start getting in trouble is you make too many decisions because uh, there are not that many absolutely critical decisions that a, uh, a company has to make, but when you make them, you want to make them right. And, and you want to put the time on those decisions. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more on Greater Good Radio.